back to another episode from the Descendants SMP realm. I have been a busy bee. I actually took the time to sort of organise the chest monster. Even though it's not going to stay here. All this will eventually be down there. What else have I done, I hear you ask? I had a go at building a pillar. It was suggested in the comment section of the first video I did that maybe it would be good if they like had pillars that were sort of built and anchored to, to the ground rather than just being sort of like floating seahorses. And I really like that idea. Um, let's pop under. Ooh. Oh, isn't the visibility wonderful? So, yeah, this is about as far as I got. It's not... It's not the easiest building underwater at the moment, but I have a basic idea and I figured I'd wait because once I've sorted out conduit, breathing underwater isn't going to be an issue. So then I can add the pillars under the rest of them. I've also got those extra two seahorses finished. So now we have the six. I absolutely love this entrance. It's so cool. Um, and I have mapped out the next build. And it's going to go in this big space here. I'm thinking... Sort of like a platform, we've got some statues on with a bit of a temple in the background that's sort of going to have like the entrance to the rest of the kingdom. I actually tried to build it on creative this time and get an idea of what materials I'm going to need and, and want. So I have been churning out concrete and mining diorite and quartz. Oh my god, quartz. It's the bane of my life. Oh my god. God, um, I could really do with like concrete slabs and stairs. That's what I want from 1.20. That's all I want. You know, you can keep your mobs. You can keep your updated whatevers. You don't even need to add a new biome. Just concrete slabs and stairs. Anyway, I think I have, I think I have everything. All the prismarine and I have the sea lanterns and, and, and the diorite and the warp stuff. And yeah, I think... I think I'm good to go. Only thing left to do now is jump into a time lapse and see how far I get before I run out of materials. Hopefully I've actually calculated this right and I have gathered enough. If not, we're gonna have to take a trip to the industrial district and get what I'm missing. So let's go.
complete my temple and my mer people guards. Totally here for it. And I've just spent a day and night cycle fishing because I need these Nautilus shells. I've already got five in my chest and I know I need eight, don't I, for a conduit and a heart of the sea, which I have already found in a treasure chest. So what we're going to do now, before we completely end the episode, I'm going to go and make my first conduit. I didn't have to Google how to do this. Lies. Oh, the lies. Yeah, I hadn't had a clue. So yeah, Google. Um, yeah, so let's then get it done because I'm very, very excited to be able to breathe underwater and start work on the actual kingdom. Okay, first things first, I need to empty all the loot I got from fishing into a chest because I've got loads of it. I did pretty well just for one day and night cycle. Got loads of bits. Oh, but I need the Nautilus shells. Uh, in here. Aha, here is my five and my heart of the sea. And I need some prismarine. Go that and go, go with that to make the little cagey thing that goes around it. Con conduit. Bam! Ah, this is awesome. It's like a monumental moment. I made a conduit to the sea. Ah, oh, such an amazing entrance. I think it really makes a statement. Okay. Now I want to put this conduit directly underneath this. So. In the middle, and sink, sinking, sinking, drowned, sinking. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Did I bring? Oh, this isn't good. I thought I had it then. Um, trident, trident. I should try that. I really feel like tridents are underrated. Maybe. As a weapon. Ah, oh, another one! Another trident! Fabulous. I love this. I think I'm going to add tridents to my end of the sea shark. Right, I need to go back up, otherwise I'm going to drown. And then we'll, we'll do this again. Oh, don't look at the bottom. Don't look at the bottom. It's terrible. What is that running around up here? I'm sorry. Was that me or did you see something running around up here? Oh! Thank you. Oh, did he leave his head? Yes, he did! We, <laughs> we love a head. Okay. Right, conduit. This is this is what we're doing, isn't it? So we're gonna jump in the middle, sink. There. Right, so I want to sort of clear this area. I'm gonna have to like flatten all of this, I think. Oh, drowned. Drowned. Go away. Okay, I don't. How do I do this? Oh my god! Uh, now is not the time to forget. So we've got that way. We have a, a, a base, right? And the conduit, I don't know. Oh no, I don't know how this goes. Um. No, this is, oh, I'm drowning. I'm gonna, oh! Honestly, I'm so stupid. Right, we're ready to do this again because that was just shocking. Okay, I'm going to pretend that I'm not looking at something on Google Images. Right now, I'm not. I don't need Google. <laughs> oh, crap. But I do need to get this up before I can't breathe anymore. Oh! Oh, what are you? Oh God, oh, hey. I've got to breathe, got to breathe, got to breathe, got to breathe. Got to breathe, got to breathe, no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Has anyone ever had such an issue? I was going to make this all pretty, but I think I'll have to do it once I've... No, that doesn't go there, does it? Does it go up here? Oh, 
I can breathe again! Was all I had to do remove that block and then I could have done this easier? Have I suffered for no reason? That's ridiculous! Right, let me make this pretty now. I don't know, this is all new territory for me and I'm loving it! Loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like this. I have a working conduit! I'm so happy! What this means is now I can start work under here! I can actually start building a proper ocean kingdom. Die. And also fix under there. Let's not look under there too much because, because it's awful. I think... Obviously over here were the columns and I want to repeat the columns on the underside of the rest of the seahorses probably a little bit better than, than it is now that I can you know breathe under here and I've got to do something about the temple as well because that's currently floating so under here it needs like solidifying and then I think we're going to definitely need some some columns to sort of ground it but It's all a work in progress. But what's really cool is that because of this I can stay under here and kill drowned. I love killing drowned. <laughs> but also the longer I stay under the water my only issue is drowned. There's nothing else under here is there that can kill me? Apart from the whole running out of breath thing but I've solved that problem. Just drowned. I could be the safest I've ever been right now. How bizarre is that? <laughs> Thank you for joining me this episode, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And are as excited as I am about the future of the Ocean Kingdom. Now that we have our saucy conduit. I'm also hoping that if you've enjoyed it, you're going to give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel. And hit that little bell that will notify you every time I upload a video. So you will never miss progress in the Ocean Kingdom again. Because it's going to be epic. See you guys next time. Bye.